Welcome. Fill the kitchen cooking with squadron. My tooth feels like it's swelling again, so that's bad news. I didn't do much today, except sleep. I guess I needed to catch up on some sleep. Or maybe it's this <clears throat> infected tooth that's wiping me out, but I was exhausted. So now I'm up and I'm not actually cooking anything at the moment. I'm just going to make some coffee, but I figured it was a good time to put up a video. I noticed there's a video from last night that has zero views, so I don't know if you missed it or what, but you can go back and watch that one if you wish. I am worried about this tooth and jaw, but hopefully this goes away. Not good. Feels quite swollen. Doesn't look too bad at the moment, but oh my. Anyway, as I was saying, I came home from work and I wasn't overly tired. So I stayed up until noon. I, I was low energy. Just uh, was watching YouTube videos and wasting time basically and then I uh, at 12 o'clock I went and got a burger at Burger King I didn't really have the energy for anything else and after I ate that I pretty much came home and uh, went to bed and I slept most of the day so even though it's the middle of the night right now with my strange schedule of working nights and sleeping during the day I'm going to make some coffee and try to salvage some of this weekend I want to get the dishes done, I want to do some cleaning up and I would like to do some exercise I haven't done anything today but I was just so tired so hopefully there aren't I'm not going to be all swelled up later and have to go back to the doctor. I don't know what they're going to do. I've taken 24 days of antibiotics or something. I don't want to be taking more drugs. I've been exhausted since I've been taking the antibiotics and I haven't been able to do anything like exercise or, or anything else. Just endure and be tired. Anyway, the water's boiled. So I'm going to make coffee. So yeah, once I wake up, I'll probably get on the exercise bike and clean my blood a little. And then uh, after that, hopefully I'll uh, feel awake enough to tidy up the house a bit. I don't just want to laze around all weekend, but there's always the risk of that. I do want to get back to lifting weights. I do want to get back to the boxing routine. But it seems that the only thing I can do these days is ride the bike, and it's exhausting me. So with some extra water here, I'll put that in the frying pans. stir that up with one of my long Korean spoons.
coffee has been made. Now it's just a matter of waiting for that to cool down and then I'll drink it. I'd like to say I will enjoy it, but uh, I don't know if I really enjoy drinking black coffee or not. Keeps me awake. It seems to be more of a medicine than a pleasure. I do get pleasure out of the caffeine, but uh, I don't actually get pleasure out of the coffee, I think. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some hot chocolate powder and some butter to the cup. So that my first cup of coffee will actually be part hot chocolate, part coffee. Some places call that a cafe mocha, but cafe mocha traditionally just meant a different, very finely ground bean, if I'm not mistaken. But in the West, this is what we call cafe mocha. It's generally more of a desserty type coffee with whipped cream and chocolate sauce and lots of sugar, but uh, the only sugar is going to be the sugar that's in the pre-mixed hot chocolate powder. So, at least I'll enjoy the first cup of coffee. I'll drink the whole liter of coffee, of course, and uh, hopefully it will give me enough caffeine to wake up, enough energy to get on with my day and actually enjoy some time. So, once I wake up, I'll probably put up a different video, but that'll probably be late tonight. I'll probably have to cook some eggs later. I might have to cook something else. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Tune in tomorrow and you'll probably see some videos that I put up tonight late. So anyway, we'll call this a video. So who loves your baby? This guy, don't forget about it. Remember, you're somebody's favorite person in this world, probably mine. And while we're going through these tough times, we're going to use our three tools that we get from Siddhartha's Mout, written by Herman Hesse. We are going to think. We're going to think positively. We're going to think logically. We're going to try to reason out these tough situations. We are going to wait, which means we're going to be patient. We're going to not stress too much, try to control the mind, try to control our breath, help us get through these tough times, and we're going to endure or fast, as Herman has says, and we're just going to be there with our suffering and endure, wait for a better time. So that's basically it. <clears throat> so until next time, goodbye. Love you. Don't forget, Past video has zero views, but there are also lots of videos in the library. You can go back and rewatch if you've seen them. I'm sure there's probably some videos there you've never seen. So until next time, goodbye. Love you.